after tea party. <laughs> Hold still, Goo. Stacking monster cups isn't easy. Three monster cups, four monster cups. <laughs> <laughs> No monster cups. Sorry, Max. The scream screen surprised me. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. I like surprises. The scream screen. Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mask squad will be there. <gasps> oh, it's Sydney Squid Monster. She has the best monstery pink ink tea parties in all of Monstrovia. Hi, Hi Sydney, Sydney Squid, Squid Monster. Monster. Hi there, Monster Mask Squad. I need your help. I'm having a very hard time organizing my monstery pink ink tea party. What sort of trouble could you be having? Oh, Lily, it's just terrible. I ordered five mucky ucky marshmallows to go with the pink ink tea. Mucky ucky, ucky marshmallows? <laughs> Yum! <laughs> You're so right, they sure are the yummiest. But I ordered five, and I'm not sure if that's how many were delivered. Have you tried counting them? Oh yes, I've tried counting them, but each time I count, I get a different number. Don't worry, Sydney Squid Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. Oh, thank you, Monster Math Squad. Please hurry, I'm expecting my first guest any minute. We need to help Sydney Squid Monster figure out how many mucky yucky marshmallows she has. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can solve any problem. Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! We're Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Row! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Bro! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Good idea, Lily. Come on, squad. Let's go count some mucky yucky marshmallows. <laughs> Watch, Squiddy. Sure, Lily. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, nine, no, eight, hey, nine, give that back, ten. Yeah, that's not yours. Oh, Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, excuse me, Squiddy. But I think you might have already counted that one. Oh, okay. Then I'll stop. Thirteen it is. Hmm. Thirteen is a pretty big number. Does it look like there are thirteen mucky yucky marshmallows here? I don't think so either. Ooh, Lily, I'm so confused. Every time I count, I get a different number. This time I got 13, but before I got 8, and before that, I got 11. Oh, this is a problem. What am I doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Ro, are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Little monsters in a circle. Go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Wait, stop. Ten little monsters? That can't be. The way that you're counting is wrong, you see. Counting in circles makes it hard to know when to stop counting, when to say, whoa. If you spread yourselves into a row, my friends, then you'll know where to start and where to end. One, two, three, four, five. That's right, five little monsters saying goodnight. Cool! Now we know about counting in a row. And since row is a math word, let's, let's do, do more to math! math. Oh. All right, squad, let's spread those mucky yucky marshmallows into a row. I get it. By putting the muck yucky marshmallows in a row, it will help us know where to start and where to stop counting. Yeah, so we don't count each mucky yucky marshmallow more than once. Maybe you should spread them out, Squiddy. All right, try counting them now. Come on, squad, let's all count along with her. We start counting at this end of the row. And we'll stop counting at this end. One, two, three, four, five. Five mucky ucky marshmallows. Exactly what I ordered. Thank you, Monster Math Squad. Aw, glad we could help. Oops, I nearly forgot about the cups. You can't have a monstery pink ink tea party without teacups. Hmm, how many do I need? Let me see. Five mucky ucky marshmallows. Yes, that means six teacups. Uh, you have five mucky ucky marshmallows, so you need six teacups? Exactly. Uh, okay. Let me see if I have enough. Oh, silly me. Not another circle. Thanks to the Monster Math Squad, I know I have to count them in rows. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, I think you already counted that one. Oh, not again. Now that there are two rows, I don't know where to start and where to end. Hmm. When we place the Mucky Yucky Marshmallows in one row, we started at one end and counted to the other. But where do we start to count if we have two rows? Did you just see word monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, row, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, row! Look, a monster math monitor. How many monster juices do you see? He's filling them up. One, two, three. Here comes some more. Let's watch him pour. Pouring monster juice is how he gets his kicks. Here come numbers four, five, and six. When you're counting two rows, remember this rhyme. Make sure you count them one at a time. Start with one row. Go from the first to the last. One, two, three. Then count the next row. It'll be a blast. Four, five, six. Six slimy, grimy monster juices. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know that to count more than one row, we count one row first, then start at the beginning of the second row and keep counting until we're done. Oh no, not again. Not the teacups! We need them for the party! Phew! <laughs> Max, Goo, please be careful with the teacups. Okay, let's get these teacups counted. Start with this row. One, two, three. Once we reach the end of one row, do you remember what to do? Oh, you're right. We go back and start at the beginning of the next row. Four, five, six. Six teacups. That is exactly right for my monstery pink ink tea party. Would you mind helping me set the table and then stay for some pink ink tea and mucky yucky marshmallows? Oh, oh yeah! Of <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. 
five. Uh, six? Yes, six. You can put two teacups at that spot. Thank you, Max. One mucky ucky marshmallow and two teacups? Oh, no! It's... <laughs> uh, it's Trudy Trimonster's place. Here she comes now. One mucky ucky marshmallow and two teacups, just how she likes it. Oh! You, you invited, invited Trudy Trimonster! <laughs> Monsterific job, Monster Mask Squad! We help little Sydney Squid Monster count everything for her monstery pink ink tea party. And we did it by knowing all about Rose. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the, the math! We, we did, did the, the monster math! <laughs> monster Fang Festival. Okay, you. I have a long straw and a short straw. If you pick the long straw, you win and get the monster muffin. Oh, goody, Max. <laughs> <Whoa! Ow! laughs> Who won the muffin? I think we both lost, Lily. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrobia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster mascot will be there! Look! Two fang monsters! Whoa! <laughs> Look at their cool fangs! Hi, Hi fang monsters! Hey, Monster Match Squad! So, how can we help you? Today is our famous fang festival when the most fabulous fang monsters in all of Monstrovia. That's us! <laughs> have a contest to see who has the most fantastic fangs. That sounds like fun! And the winner gets the golden fang brush. But we need judges to decide who has the most fantastic fangs. Oh, the Monster Math Squad can judge your fang festival. Yeah, yeah you bet. Fantastic. See you soon. Hmm. We need to judge the fang festival. I'm sure we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Longest. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Longest! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. I got so excited, I couldn't wait. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help judge that Fang Festival. <laughs> We're ready to judge your fang festival. What do we do? You have to decide who has the longest fangs. Oh, okay. <laughs> that should be easy. Hmm. Longest fangs. Hmm. Which ones are the longest? Whoa, hey! Missed me! Oh, oh, drool. <laughs> Sorry, Goo. That's okay, Max. Uh, hmm. I can't tell which monster has the longest fangs. Me either, Lily. How do we tell? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Longest. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Longest. Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! A red monster with short legs. A green monster with long legs. Look, those short legs are starting to grow. Now whose legs are longer? Do you know? Let's measure them both and see. 
How many bands for Green Monster? One, two, three. And Red Monster has one, two, three, four. Red Monster has more. Red Monster's legs are longer than Green's. Those are the longest legs we've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Well, that was helpful. Now we know how to figure out if something is the longest. <laughs> yeah! Longest! <laughs> right, Goo. And since longest is a math word... Let's, let's do, do Monster Math! math! <laughs> okay, Fang Monsters, let's have another look at those fangs. Gladly! I still can't tell which monster has the longest fangs. The math monitor showed us that you can measure things to see which is the longest. <laughs> You're right, Goo. Come on, squad. Let's measure those fangs. Oh, wait. We can't measure them. Why not? The fangs don't have colorful bands that light up, uh, like the legs on the math monitor did. No, but we do have... <gasps> Measure Monster! <whistles> measure Monster! <laughs> Yay! He can measure them. He has measure bands. Okay, Measure Monster. Help us measure these fangs. And you get ready to help us count the measure band squad. Here we go. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. The straight fanged fang monster's fangs are five bands long. Now let's measure the other fangs. Help us count again, squad. One, two, three, four, five, six. The curly fanged fang monster's fangs are six bands long. And six is more than five, so that means... Yes! The curly fang fang monster's fangs are the longest! He wins the Fang Festival! <laughs> Yay! Not so fast, Monster Mad Squad. That's only the first part of the festival. Yeah! Now it's time for the Fang Hang! The Fang Hang! hang! <laughs> the Fang Hang? What's that? We will each hang by our fangs on this branch one at a time. The winner will be the one who can fang hang the longest. But how will we know who can fang hang the longest? We know how to measure the length of things, like fangs, but how do you measure how long someone can do something, like fang hang? <laughs> Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, longest, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, longest! Look, a monster math monitor. Two monsters want to balance on a ball. Who can balance the longest before they fall? Who will it be? Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done, monster number one. Monster number two, how about you? Ooh. One, two, three. That wasn't very long at all. Monster number one can balance the longest on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That was really helpful, don't you think? Now we know that there are longer and shorter times. Cool! I bet that will help us figure out which fang monster can fang hang the longest. I think it will! We can count how long they fang hang, just like on the math monitor. Good thinking, Goo. The longer they hang, the higher we count. Okay, here I go. Get ready to see how long I can fang hang. Monster Math Squad, let's all count together and see who fang hangs the longest. There he goes! He's fang hanging! Oh, uh, start counting, everyone! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty long! We counted all the way to eight! My turn! <laughs> okay, squad, let's count how long this fang monster hangs! One, two, 
three, four, five, six! Six! Uh, which fang monster hung on the longest? What do you think? Was it this fang monster? He hung on for eight counts. Or this fang monster? He hung on for six counts. Eight is more than six. So, who was it? Yes! This fang monster hung on the longest. Yay! <laughs> he wins! <laughs> well, not exactly. You see, I have the longest fangs, so I won that contest. And I can fang hang the longest, so I won that contest. Hmm. So, you each won one contest. So, uh... It's a tie? But who wins the golden fang brush? Well, we don't have any more contests. How will we decide the winner? We must have a winner. Oh, oh, I know. Pick bristles. I have two brush bristles. The monster who picks the longest bristle wins the fang festival. Fantastic idea. Great wow, idea. Yeah. Yeah. Which bristle is the longest? I bet you know. That's it! I win! I win! I have the most fantastic fangs in all of Monstrovia! And you get to brush my fangs! Yay! Fang monsters love to brush fangs! <laughs> I guess everyone wins! Monster math horrific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped choose a Fang Festival winner, and we did it by learning all about Longest. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Oh! We, we did, did the math. math. We, we did, did the monster, monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs> Falls apart monsters nose woes. And where do you think this piece should go, Goo? Here or here? It looks good here, Max. <laughs> there! I put together a monster robot! <laughs> I took apart a monster robot. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the uh, monster mask! It's Falls Apart Monster! Hi, Falls Apart Monster! Oh, hi, Monster Mask Squad! Oopsie! My ear fell off! <laughs> Falls Apart Monster is always falling apart. How can we help? I was just walking down the street when an odd-looking monster bumped into me and, uh, well, when I got up, my nose was missing. Uh-oh! No nose! Don't worry, Falls Apart Monster. The Monster Mask Squad is on the way. We'll cure your nose woes. Oh, goody. <laughs> Hurry. Oopsie. Hmm. We need to find Falls Apart Monster's nose. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word, word monster! monster! Oh, wow! Today, there are three secret monster math words. Front, back, and side. Next time you see word monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen. Front, back, side! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> okay, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Falls Apart Monster find his nose. <laughs> now, where exactly did you last see your nose, Falls Apart Monster? In the middle of my face, uh, right about here. Hey! I found it! <laughs> I found your nose! 
Thank you, Goo, but, well, I'm afraid that is not my nose. <laughs> it looks like an old monster muffin top someone threw away. Monster muffin? We love slimy, grimy monster muffins. <laughs> Silly monsters. You can't eat litter. Aww. Can I use that muffin top for my nose? Uh, just for now. Mm, be my guest. Well, this is okay, but, oh, I really need my own nose back. Where, oh, where could my real nose be? Let's think. You say you were bumped by an odd-looking monster, and then you lost your nose. <gasps> Maybe the monster saw where your nose went. Oh, uh, yes, that is possible. Can you describe what this odd-looking monster looked like? He had a body that looked like a, a, an old crushed box <laughs> and a busted bicycle horn. Uh, oh, and two cracked hoses <laughs> and a brush with uh, broken bristles. Whoa, 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 stop. I have no idea what kind of monster you're describing. Yeah, it just sounds like a pile of trash. <gasps> I know what can help us. A monster mass monitor. <laughs> Okay, the odd-looking monster had a body that looked like an old crushed box. There, now we can see what it looks like. And what else did the monster have falls apart, monster? A busted a bicycle horn. There, got it. And two cracked hoses. And there, okay. Oh, and a brush with broken bristles. And there, done. Hmm, no match. That means there is no monster in Monstrovia that looks like that. Well, the monster really didn't look like that. <laughs> but all the parts are there, right? Right, but uh, something's wrong with that picture. What are we doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words front back, and side. Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three, front, back, side. Look, the monster math monitor came back. The monster has a goofy nose in front that looks like a strudel. The monster has droopy arms on his sides like a noodle. The monster has a poofy tail on his back, like a poodle. The funny monster waves goodbye. Toodle-oodle-oodle. Well, that was helpful. Now we know about front, back, and side. I bet we need to know about front, back, and side to help us figure out what the odd-looking monster looks like. And since front, back, and side are math words... Let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Oh! Okay. We know the odd-looking monster had a body that looks like a crushed box. Yes, and a busted bicycle horn. Can you describe to us exactly where the busted bicycle horn went? Was it here on the side? No. Uh, or here on the back? No. Hmm, not the side and not the back. Where else could it be? Oh, <laughs> hey, yeah, the front. That's exactly where it was, on the front. Now, two cracked hoses, where did they go? I don't remember, but I do know they were his arms. Where do you think arms would go? The sides? Let's try it. That's exactly where they were. What about the brush with broken bristles? Was it on the front? Or on the back? Or on the side? Oh, on the back. Like a tail! That's him! <laughs> That's him! That's the monster who bumped into me! Yes! A monster match! Uh, which monster's that? Now that his parts are all in the right place, I know who he is! That's Junk Monster! Oh, yeah! I've heard of him! Junk Monster's a monster made of litter that he finds! Do you know where he lives? I've heard he lives at the back of the stinkiest store in Monstrovia. Hmm, where's that? Oh, I know! Barks and stench! <laughs> it stinks! <laughs> Good thinking, Goo! Okay, Monster Mask Squad, to the stinkiest store in Monstrovia! <laughs> 
What's that horrible smell? It's Bark's and Stench General Store. The stinkiest, the stinkiest store in, in Monstrovia. Monstrovia! But I don't see Junk Monster anywhere. Lily, did you say you heard he lives at the back of the store? Yes. The back? Where's that? Well, we know that monsters can have a back, but what about a building? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math words front, back, and side together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, front, back, side! Look! A monster math monitor! The monster house has a door in the front with the big blue nose. The monster house has window ears on the side that open and close. The monster house has a deck at the back with the rail made out of toes. It's raining, uh-oh. The monster house has got to go. Hi-ho. <laughs> well, that was very helpful. Now we know that houses and buildings can also have a front, back, and sides, just like monsters. So, uh, where's the back of Barks and Stench? Well, the back is the part you can't see when you're in the front. Let's go around to the back! Yay! This is definitely the back of the building. But I don't see Junk Monster. There's only this pile of trash. I believe that pile of trash is... <laughs> junk Monster! We're so glad we found you. Have you seen Falls Apart Monster's nose? What's it look like? Well, it's star-shaped. <gasps> like that! That's my nose! Well, this is my belly button. Well, sort of. I found it. I lost my old one when I bumped into you. What did your belly button look like? Well, it was an old muffin top. <gasps> like that! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Junk Monster, I think you took Falls Apart Monster's nose by accident after you bumped into him. And you took his belly button. Oh, well, what do you know? Do you want to trade? Yes, please. Yay! I'm all back together again. And me too. <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> <laughs> Monster Math, terrific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Falls Apart Monster get his nose back. And we did it by learning all about front, back, and side. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <laughs> we, we did, did the, the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! <laughs> Scary Face Picture Day. Four points! Six points! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, Max. The screen screen surprised me. Oh, that's okay, Goo. You scored! <laughs> the screen screen always surprises Goo. The screen screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care... The Monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Mrs. Mopley, the monster daycare teacher. Hi, Mrs. Mopley. Oh, thank goodness you're there, Monster Math Squad. It's Scary Face Picture Day. I love Scary Face Picture Day. It's the day that all the little monsters get their class picture taken wearing their favorite scary masks. Yes, but unfortunately, all the scary masks are mixed up. I don't know which mask fits which monster. Don't worry, Mrs. Mopley. We'll be right there to help. Oh, thank you, Monster Math Squad. See you soon. I'm sure we can figure out whose scary mask is whose by using Monster Math. Yeah! Monster Math can solve any problem. For sure! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! Today's secret monster math word is... Measure!
Monster. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Measure! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. Come on, squad. Let's go sort out some scary monster masks. <laughs> Just in time, the little monsters are starting to get restless. They want to put on their scary masks. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Not so funny. Scary. <laughs> Silly goo. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs. Mopley. We'll help you get all these masks straightened out. But how can we find which mask matches which monster? The perfect fit will cover the monster from the top of his head to the tips of his toes. You may need to measure the masks and the monsters. Measure the masks and monsters? How will we do that? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, measure. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Monster Math Monitor. A big, tall monster needs a coat. A little measure monster can help him out. Counting the bars will give his size. Just the right coat will be his prize. One, two, three, four. That's all. That big monster's body is four bars tall. That little coat is two bars tall. A coat that size is way too small. The second coat is four bars tall. That's the very best fit of all. <laughs> that was really helpful. Now we know about measuring. We also know the perfect monster to help us with that. <whistles> measure monster! <laughs> Let's measure the masks and the monsters. Come on, squad, we can do this. Let's, Let's do monster math! <laughs> Silly monsters. All right, little monsters, gather around, please. The Monster Math Squad is going to help us get the masks sorted out by showing us how to measure. Let's get measuring! You hold the measure monster up beside the thing you want to measure, like this. Okay, let's count how many bars tall the mask is. One, two, two three! three. This mask is three colored bars tall. So we need to find a little monster who is also three bars tall. Okay, little monsters, who wants to be measured first? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mopley said that the masks go from the top of their heads to the tips of their toes. Is that measure monster in the right place? No. Right! He has to hold Measure Monster at the top of his head. And, and let, let it go, go right, right down, down to his toes. toes! Yes! Let's measure together. Count the bars with us. One, One two. two! That little monster is two colored bars tall. The mask we measured is three colored bars tall. That means it's too big for that little monster. This one is smaller. It might fit. One, two. two! The mask is two colored bars tall. This mask will fit just right. <laughs> we still need to find a monster for this mask. It was three colored bars tall. Let's see if this mask is the right size for you. Come on, squad. Help us measure by counting the bars again. One, two, three! It'll fit that little monster just right. <laughs> Good work. Let's measure the other little monsters. Great job, 
Love Squad. <laughs> we matched all the masks to the right monsters. We, we did, did the, the mask. mask! We, we did, did the monster mask! mask. <laughs> okay, time to take the scary face picture. Oh my, this just doesn't seem to be working. I can't see all of our scary little faces. Do you think we need to measure them again? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, measure, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, measure! Look, a monster math monitor. A cute little monster flower in a flower pot. A little monster who likes to water a lot. Look at the flowers starting to grow. Uh-oh, where'd the little monster go? That little flower grew to be much taller than the little monster who is much smaller. We couldn't see the little monster in the math monitor because the flower grew to be taller than the monster and it blocked the little monster's face. Just like the taller monsters in Mrs. Mopley's class are blocking the smaller monsters. So, we just have to make sure the taller monsters are behind the smaller monsters. How do we sort out the tall from the small? Six monsters hurrying because they're late. Uh-oh, some monsters can't fit under the gate. To go under the gate, you have to be small. A monster can't fit if he's too tall. That's it! We know that the smallest monsters are two colored bars tall. So any monster taller than two colored bars is too tall to stand in the front row for the picture. So does that mean we have to measure them again? No, Max. Goo can show us which little monsters are taller than two colored bars. Yeah, I can show you. <laughs> uh, how can I show you? You can stretch yourself to be an arch that's two colored bars high and let the little monsters run under you. Any little monsters that fit under the arch are short enough to go in the front row. And any little monsters that can't fit under are too tall, so they go in the back row for the picture. Okay, make an arch. Hey, great arch, Goo. Exactly two bars tall. All right, little monsters. Let's see who can run under Goo. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, you fit under the arch. You're short enough to go in the front row. Whoa! This one's too tall. Back row for you, little monster. <laughs> this is fun! Whoa! <laughs> All right, it looks like you two are tall enough to stand in back. Oh, perfect! I can see all the scary little faces. Everybody give me a great, big, scary monster growl! Yeah! <laughs> was monsterific. Thank you for helping us. Why don't you come join us for a picture? Oh boy! A picture? Oh, I love being in pictures. <laughs> Careful, Goo. <coughs> Everybody say slimy slop. Slimy <laughs> Monster matherific job, Monster Math Squad. We sorted out the masks and helped them take their scary face picture. And we did it all by knowing how to measure. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> monster hopscotch. One, two, watch Goo jump through. <laughs> Three, four, we're all on the floor. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's 
Hoppity Monster. He loves to jump and hop wherever he goes. Well, a hopping good day to you, Monster Math Squad. <laughs> Thanks. How can we help you? I'm so glad you asked, Max. I'm at Monstrovia Park, and I have just discovered a wonderful new game. Monster Hopscotch! That sounds fun! Oh, it's a marvellous game, Goo! You start at square number one, toss a stone monster high in the air... A stone monster?! Yes, and when he lands, he hops as fast as he can to a different square. Cool! Then you hoppity hop to the square he's on, pick him up, and then hop all the way back to square number one. Oh, wow! That's a lot of hopping! That's what makes Monster Hopscotch so much fun! That does sound like fun, but what's the problem? Well, Lily, there are only ten squares, and ten is just not enough for a hopping monster like myself. Are you sure, Hoppity Monster? A Monster Hopscotch game with ten squares sounds pretty big to me. Yeah, it's pretty big, but I want it monstrously big. Don't worry, Hoppity Monster. The Monster Mascot is on its way. Oh, thank you. See you soon. Hmm. We need to help Hoppity Monster make a monstrously big monster hopscotch game. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word Monster! monster! Wow! Today there are two secret monster math words. After ten. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen! After ten! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Good idea, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help make a monstrously big monster hopscotch game. <laughs> Oh, this looks like a great monster hopscotch game. Yeah, it starts at one and goes all the way to ten. Yeah, one to ten monster hopscotch is okay, but once I start to hop, I really hate to stop. So you want to make the monster hopscotch game bigger so you can keep hopping longer? Yes, I wanted to add five more fantastic hop-filled squares to the game. The game already has ten squares, and up to ten is as high as I can count. I don't know what numbers come after ten. Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words after ten. Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three. After, after ten! ten. Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. Ten little monsters who like to frown. Eleven monsters will sit right down. Twelve monsters are starting to jump. Thirteen monsters go bump, bump, bump. Fourteen monsters on a cloudy day. Fifteen monsters running away. <laughs> Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know the numbers that come after ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14 and 15. Now that we know the five numbers after 10, we can make the hopscotch bigger. Let's hop to it. <laughs> oh, what wonderful hoppers you are. Could you please hop over and grab my bucket of chalk? Whoa! <laughs> oh, my. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Silly monsters. <laughs> now we can add five more squares to this hopscotch game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we know what numbers to give them. <laughs> uh, what numbers come after ten again? Hmm, the numbers that come after ten? Uh, I can't remember them all. 
I remember 14. Yeah, 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 and 12. 12 was one of them. What do you think, Squad? Should we get the math monitor to say the numbers again? <laughs> okay, listen. Shout out each number with us while we draw the squares. 11. 11? 12? 12? 13? 13? 14? 14? 15? 15! Well, Hoppity Monster, that game sure is bigger! But my heavens, how are we supposed to remember which square is which? There are no numbers in them. I remember. The math monitor said this square was 11. <laughs> so I will write 11 here. <laughs> uh, what does 11 look like? Hmm. The math monitor told us the five numbers that come after 10, but he didn't show us what the numbers looked like. Goodness me! How are we going to draw them in the squares? <laughs> Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math words after 10 together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, after, after 10! ten. Drawing big numbers is easy to do. Just follow these steps to help you through. You start with the one. The first number is one. Then add a new number. That's how it's done. Let's try. So one to begin, it goes at the start. Then a new number one makes 11. How smart. Now start with the one and then add a two. 12 is a number. Good for you. A one to begin and then add a three. The number 13 is what you see. A one is first, a four comes next. 14 is the number, now that's the best. And finally a one, followed by a five. Spectacular 15, it's time to jive. <laughs> wow, thanks Math Monitor. Now we know how to draw the numbers after 10. We start each number with a one and then add the numbers from one to five after it. Come on, squad, let's draw some big numbers. Ooh, ooh, I can be the number one. <laughs> nice one, Goo. <laughs> but I think we'd better draw the one with chalk so no one tries to hop on you. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, squad, we need to make some numbers. Let's, let's do, do monster math! First draw a one, then a one. That's 11. First draw a one, then a two, that's 12. A one, then a three, that's 13. A one, then a four, that's 14. A one, then a five, that's 15. That sure is a big hopscotch game. Grab a stone monster and give him a toss. Hop right after him once he stops. But you need to be quick or he'll hop away. Scoop him up and hop right back again. <laughs> Look, the stone monster hopped all the way to the last square. Square number 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my! Still more squares to go! Let's keep counting! Are you ready to count the numbers that come after 10? Let's count them together, squad! 11, 12, 13, 14, 15! Oh, goody! That was fun! Who's next? Oh, I am! We'll grab a stone monster and hop to it! All right, here goes! One, two, three, four, five. That looks six, so fun! Seven, eight, when is my nine, turn, Lily? Ten, as 11, soon as 12, Max comes 13, back! 14, 15. All righty, I'm coming back! He's coming back! It's my turn! Ha <laughs> ha! Woohoo! Not yet, good. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Oh, my! Hopping is fun! Unless you fall on your bum. <laughs> Monsterific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped Hoppity Monster make a monstrous hopscotch game, and we did it by knowing all about the numbers that come after ten. And knowing how to draw them. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> monster Road Hockey! Well, it's a pretty big net, Goo, and you are kind of a small monster. Well... Maybe two Goos are better than one. <laughs> you can't get past me now, Max. <laughs> wow! Oh, oh. Maybe one Goo is better than two after all. <laughs> the screen screen always surprises Goo. The screen screen! <laughs> Somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! <gasps> it's Garbage Monster! Hidey ho, Monster Mask Squad! Hidey ho, Garbage Monster! What can we do for you? Yeah. You do remember that we're all playing monster road hockey today, don't you? Of course we remember. <laughs> We've been practicing. Great! There's only one idly piddly little problem. Oh, what's that, garbage monster? I don't exactly know how to make the teams for the game. Don't worry, garbage monster. The monster mask squad will help you figure that out. Oh, goody. See you soon. <laughs> hmm. We need to help figure out how to make the teams to play monster road hockey. I'm sure we can use some monster math to do that. Yeah! Monster math can solve any problem. Because monster math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the monster math squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. <gasps> word monster! Today's secret monster math word is... Divide. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Divide! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. Come on, squad. Let's go play monster road hockey. Monster? Let's play Monster Road Hockey! <laughs> First, we have to figure out how to make the teams. Oh, right. I forgot. Well, let's see. There are one, two, three, four of us, so let's have four teams. Yeah! Team Goo! Team Lily! Team Max! Team Garbage Monster! Now, is everyone ready to play Monster Road Hockey? Ready! <laughs> Ready! Ready! <laughs> I mean... Ready! I've got a monster puck in my garbage can right here. No. No. <laughs> no, sir. Ah! Here it is! <laughs> <laughs> the monster puck loves playing monster road hockey. <laughs> No, but don't. That's your net. <laughs> um, then where's my net? Hmm, we have four players, but only two nets. Time out, everyone. <whistles> this isn't working. Each team needs its own net. And since we have two nets, we need to have two teams. Four players? Two teams? Oh, how do we do that? <laughs> Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, divide!
hide. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Divide! Look, it worked. A monster math monitor. Six monsters want to play tug of war today, but they need to make two teams so they can play. How many monsters should be on each side? To figure that out, they'll have to divide. To make two teams, here's what they can do. The first monster goes on side one. The second on side two. The next on side one. The next on side two. Then the next on side one. And the last on side two. With three monsters on side one, and three on side two. The two teams are even, so they can play. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Now we know that we need to divide players into two teams. And since divide is a math word, let's, let's do, do Monster Math! math. Oh. Uh, how do we divide into two teams? Well, now let's see. We have four players. One, two, three, four. And we need two teams. How many players on each team? Well, let's do what the math monitor showed us. I'll make a line, and we'll start with one player going on this side of the line. Me! <laughs> I'm on team one! Now the next player goes on this side of the line. <laughs> That'll be me. I'm on team two. All right, my turn. I go on this side of the line. I'm on team one with Go. We're a team. Go team one. And finally, me. I'll go on this side with you, Lily. <laughs> Woohoo! Team two. We did it. We made two teams. Are they even? Let's count. One, two players on team one, and one, two players on team two. Two even teams. <laughs> Yay! Let's play! <laughs> I think the monster puck is ready to play, too. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm open! I got it! <laughs> monster road hockey is fun! <laughs> That's my hockey stick! <laughs> Score! Great shot, garbage monster! Hey, what's all this racket? Noise makes me cranky. It's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! <laughs> Mr. Cranky Pants Monster is always very cranky. Hey, maybe Mr. Cranky Pants Monster can play road hockey with us! Yeah! yeah. Sports make me cranky! But I thought you liked being cranky, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. You're right. I do. Okay, I'll play then. <laughs> Yay! You can be on our team! Wait a minute. The teams don't look even. What do you think? Are they even? Let's count and see. One, two, three players on team one, and one... Two players on team two. They're not even. Team one has three players, and team two has only two. That's not fair. Oh, no. Well, there's got to be a way to make it fair so we can all play. But how? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, divide, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three. Two baby monsters and some monster slime. Oh boy, it looks like it's slime fun time. The first baby monster grabs it all so he can play. The second baby monster tries to take it away. So they tug and tug on the slimy goo until they divide it right in two. 
Now they each have slime to tug and squeeze. They divided the slime, and both babies are pleased. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. I think the Math Monitor is telling us that we can divide something in half. What can we divide in half to make our teams even? I know! Remember when we were playing hockey in the Monster Math Lab, Goo? Yeah? We'll do it again! Oh! I get it! Two Goos! <laughs> One Goo goes on this team, <laughs> and another Goo goes on this team! Are the teams even now? Let's all count the players together. One, two, three monsters on Max's team, and what about my team? One, two, three. Yes! The two teams are divided equally. Let's play Monster Road Hockey! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, me, I'm over here. Open it. Woohoo! <laughs> I've got it. Good shot. He scores! Way to go, Monster Math Squad. We made the team so we could play Monster Road Hockey, and we did it by knowing all about dividing. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Hello! We, we did, did the math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. math. <laughs> monster traffic trouble. We have one icky sticky fungus finger left, Goo. Yay! <laughs> Who gets to eat it, Max? You, me, or Lily? Well, uh, whoever is first in line, I guess. And I guess that would be me. Aww. <laughs> hey, now I'm first in line. <laughs> it's all yours, Goo. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! Hey, it's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Hi, Hi Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Phoey, I'm very cranky today. Mr. Cranky Pants Monster is always very cranky. How can we help? I'm delivering a fresh batch of fungus fingers from my store all around Monstrovia. Fungus fingers? Oh, that's great, because we're all out of them. Well, no one's going to get any fungus fingers unless you come and help me. What's wrong? My scooter keeps getting stuck, and I need you monsters to help get me going again, or I might blow a gasket! <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on its way. Make it snappy. Hmm. We need to help get Mr. Cranky Pants Monster's scooter unstuck. <gasps> I bet we can use some Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey! Will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. <laughs> monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Line! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret Monster Math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Line! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh! <laughs> okay, Lily! Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go help Mr. Cranky Pants Monster with his scooter trouble! <laughs> Well, it's about time you monsters got here. I keep getting stuck. Look, I back up, and I start again, and I end up bumping into the sidewalk. I'm getting seriously cranky. Hmm, maybe you're not following the line, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. You mean this line on the road? What's it for? In Monstrovia, you're supposed to follow the line when you're driving. I am. See, I follow the line, and... Stuck again! <laughs> <laughs>
He did follow the line. What in Monstrovia could the problem be? Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, line. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, line. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. A monster connects the dots. Let's see what sort of picture he's got. These dots connect to make lines that are straight. What's it going to be? I can't wait. These dots connect in a line that curves. Oops. Connect those dots. Don't sway and swerve. A few more curved lines. And one more that's straight. It's a monster face. Well, isn't that great? Thanks a lot, Monster Math Monitor. <laughs> that was helpful. Now we know about lines that are straight and lines that are curved. I bet we need to know about straight and curved lines to help us with Mr. Cranky Pants Monster's traffic trouble. And since line is a math word, let's, let's do, do Monster Math! math. Oh. Okay, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster, can you back up and follow the line on the road again? Oh, all right. One more time. Come on, Squat. Let's watch what happens when he follows the line. What kind of line is it? Aha! A straight line. And Mr. Cranky Pants Monster is following the line. Driving nice and straight, too. So far, so good. Oh, there he goes again. Right into the sidewalk. But he followed the straight line down the straight road. Wait a minute. The road isn't really straight, though. Look, it curves here. Hmm, do you see the problem? The straight line leads straight into the sidewalk instead of following the curve of the road. So when Mr. Cranky Pants Monster follows the straight line, he ends up stuck against the sidewalk. I knew it wasn't my fault. I'm perfect. Hmm. I wonder who made this loony line anyway? Hi! <laughs> hey, do you monsters like my new line? Hi! <laughs> uh, who are you? I'm a road maker monster. I make and repair roads. This is my first day on the job. How am I doing so far? Pretty good. But why did you draw your road line straight into the sidewalk? Yeah, it should be a curved line. Oh! I don't know how to make a curved line. Oh, oh, I can show you. Okay. First, I'll erase my old line with my road eraser. <laughs> now follow me. I'm making a curve. Okay, here I come. Great idea, Goo. What do you think, Squad? Does it look curved now? It does! A nice curved line! Now you can follow that line on the road and not get stuck against the sidewalk, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Huh! About time, I'd say. Bye-bye, fungus fingers. Aww. Well, at least we got the job done. <laughs> or maybe not. That sounds like Mr. Cranky Pants Monster again. Come on, squad. Let's go see what the trouble is this time. That menace of a road-making monster just made the speed bump. Uh, what's a speed bump? Speed bumps are very important. They make you slow down so you don't drive too fast. Well, this speed bump slowed me down, all right, to a complete stop. I can't get over it. Watch. Hmm, maybe something's wrong with the bump. It looks nice and, uh, bumpy to me. Hi, monsters! Are you admiring my new speed bump? It's the first one I ever made! It's a very nice bump, Roadmaker Monster. But it's kind of impossible to get over. Oh! What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, line, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, line! Look, a monster math monitor. The monster.
monster on skis wants to get over a bump. But the monster hits the bump and goes thump. Why can't the monster get over the bump? There's a sharp edge on the bump, a very straight line. Over that you can't jump. It stops you each time. Here comes a shovel to make the edge smooth. Now the bump has a curved line. Over that you can move. The monster on skis made it over the bump. He flew in the air and came down with a thump. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That was a monster massive help. Now we know that edges of things can have straight and curved lines too. I bet knowing that will help us get Mr. Cranky Pants Monster moving again over that speed bump. <laughs> hmm, look at this speed bump closely. Do you notice something about it that might make it hard to drive over? What kind of edges does it have? Straight or curved? They're straight. Uh, but aren't bumps that have straight edges hard to get over? Uh, like when that skiing monster tried to get over a bump with a straight edge. He went thump! You're right, Goo. He couldn't get over the bump. So that means to get over this speed bump, we need to... Oh, oh, I know! We need to put Mr. Cranky Pants Monster on skis! <laughs> Goo, I think we need to make the edges curved so they're nice and smooth. Oh, leave this to me. I'll make the edges curved. I'll just round them out like this and, and get rid of the sharp, pointy part and... Ta-da! A nice bump with curved edges. About time! Now I can deliver my fungus fingers. These are for you. Consider them delivered. Chew quietly. Icky, sticky fungus fingers! <laughs> Yum! <laughs> monster math horrific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Mr. Cranky Pants Monster with his traffic trouble. And we did it by knowing all about straight and curved lines. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Oh! We, we did, did the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs> Monsters at play. Huh. What do you know, Goo? According to Balance Monster, you weigh the same as a monster melon. Really? What if I do this? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I weigh more than the melon. Uh, what's left of the melon? <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care... The, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will, will be there! Oh, what cute little monsters. How can we help you, little guys? We're trying to play musical chairs. Ooh, I love, 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 love musical chairs! We do too, but we can't make the game work. It's impossible to win. Can you please come help us play it right? Of course we'll come help you. You can count on the Monster Math Squad! Yay, thank you! <laughs> We need to help some little monsters play musical chairs. I'm sure we can use some monster math to do that. Yeah, monster math can do anything. For sure, because monster math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the monster math squad on the job? Join the squad, join the squad. You will? Monster math -erific. First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word, word monster. monster. Today's secret monster math word is... more! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! More! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I knew that. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's go help some little monsters play musical chairs. Monsters.
Brothers, the Monster Math Squad is here to help you. Oh, we can't play the game right. Well, why don't you show us what happens when you try to play it? When the music stops, one monster is supposed to be left standing to have nowhere to sit. And that monster is out of the game. Right. And the game keeps going until only one monster is sitting. And that monster is the winner. But we are all sitting. Yes, because each of you have a chair to sit in. Huh. Something's not right. I know what the problem is. You do? Yup. The music isn't fast enough. Are you sure, Go? Oh, yes. Fast music is definitely the answer. Hey, they all still have chairs. And that means no one can ever win the game. Oh, um, I think musical chairs is supposed to be more fun than this. Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. More! Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, more! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. One yellow monster sitting in a tree. One green monster sitting in a tree. Two yellow monsters sitting in a tree. And only one green monster sitting in a tree. Another yellow monster sitting in the tree. Now that makes three. Three yellow monsters sitting in a tree and one green monster. There are more yellow monsters than green monsters sitting in the tree. Oops, now there are more green monsters sitting in the tree. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. That was really helpful. Now we know about more. Let's see if that can help the little monsters play musical chairs. Come on, squad. We can do this. Let's, Let's do, do Monster, Monster Math! math. Hmm, there are one, two, three little monsters. And how many chairs? Let's count. One, two, three. Three chairs. Hmm, the same number of monsters as there are chairs. Maybe the math monitor was telling us that for the game to work, one of those things has to be more than the other. Aha, I know. We have to take away one monster. Then there will be more chairs than monsters. Come with me, little fella. Um, Max, I don't think- Hit the music, Goo. DJ Gooey Goo is on it! <laughs> yeah! The game only works if one little monster is left standing after the music stops. Why are you both sitting, little monsters? Because, because we, we both have, have chairs. chairs. Two monsters, three chairs. The number of chairs is more than the number of monsters. What do we do now? What do you think, squad? Do you think we need more monsters than chairs? I think you're right. Let's give it a try. In with a monster, and out with a chair. Music, DJ Gooey Goo. Ow. Yay! One monster is left standing. He's out! The game works! <laughs> All right! Now we have two monsters. And we know we need more monsters than chairs, so if we take a chair away... Whoa! Uh-oh. 
The monster chairs turned into more monster chairs. I was not expecting that. They must be monstro copy chairs. They make copies of themselves. Weird. Can we still play our game? We can answer that question with monster math. Let's think. The number of monsters needs to be more than the number of chairs, right? Right. And now we have one, two, three, four chairs. And we have one, two, two little monsters. I'm trying to figure out if there are more monsters than chairs. Ah! Ah! I heard a squawk. Did you just see word monster? You did? Then let's shout the secret monster math word more together again. On three. Ready? One, two, three, four! Cool! A monster math monitor! <laughs> three monsters and four monster scooters. One scooter for you, and one for you, and one for you. Woohoo! There's one monster scooter left over. What to do? There are more monster scooters than monsters. Toodaloo! And toodaloo monsters on monster scooters, too. Ooh, this probably means something. <laughs> but I don't know what. <laughs> it means there are more scooters than monsters. Of course! Why didn't I think of it before? We need scooters! <laughs> Goo. I'm not sure that's what the math monitor was trying to tell us. Monster math huddle! Musical chairs worked when the number of monsters was more than the number of chairs. Right! And now the number of chairs is more than the number of monsters. Huh. That's not good. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I know how to make the game work. And it's all because of more. What's Lily going to do? Oh, it's simple, Goo. Lily is going to... Uh, to, um... Lily, what exactly are you going to do? <laughs> You'll see. First, we bring back ba -ba -ba, the third monster. Let's see. Three monsters, four chairs. No, oh, there are still more chairs than monsters. Exactly. I think I know how you can still play musical chairs. You do? Yay! Get ready. Hit the music, DJ Gooey Goo. Now the chairs are sitting on the little monsters. And the game still works! Yeah! Yay! I love this game! Goo! <laughs> <laughs> I think your excitement may be more than anyone can handle. <laughs> Monster Mathorific job, Monster Math Squad. We figured out how everyone can play musical chairs, even the chairs. And we did it by learning all about more. Let's give a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three, howl! We, we did, did the, the math! We did, did the, the Monster, monster Math! math. <laughs> Bucking Monster Mayhem! More toys, Max! Goo, don't you think you have too many toys to play with now? No, I don't have enough yet! <laughs> wow! <laughs> uh, too many toys! <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo! The Scream Scream! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care... The, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's the Three Little Monsters. Hi, Three, three Little monsters. monsters! Hi, Monster Mask Squad! We're super excited! The three little monsters are always super excited. Yeah, but today we're super excited with extra bug sauce on top. Yeah! What are you super excited with extra bug sauce on top about? There's a new ride outside Barks and Stench store. It's a bucking monster and it's the coolest ride ever. Ever! Whoa! 
Wow! <laughs> that does sound like the coolest ride ever! <laughs> I want to go on it! So do we! But we can't. Why not? It won't work. We put our money in, but the bucking monster won't buck. Oh, That's no fun! No! Don't worry, little monsters. We can help. The Monster Math Squad is on the way! Yay! Hmm. We need to figure out a way to get a bucking monster to buck. I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that! Yeah! Monster Math can solve any problem! Yeah! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Yes! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word monster! Cool. There's more than one word. Today's secret monster math words are too many and not enough. Whoa! That's a lot of secret monster math words. This is going to be monster math amazing! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen! Too many! Not enough! <laughs> Not yet, Goo! Wait until you see Word Monster again! Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. I got so excited, I couldn't wait! Come on, Monster Math Squad! Let's go help the little monsters ride the Bucky Monster! <laughs> Watch this. We put it on coins. One, two, and we hop on for a ride. <laughs> Giddy up, monster! See? Nothing happens. Oh. Uh, hmm. I wonder what could be wrong. Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words, too many and not enough. Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three. Too, too many. many, not, not enough. enough. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. A monster wants to buy a pie. How many coins will it take to buy? <laughs> One monster coin? No, that's not enough to buy the pie. Two monster coins? Still not enough to buy the pie. How about three coins? Yes, that's enough to buy the pie. Monsters eat the strangest things. My oh my. Well, that was helpful. The hungry monster needed three coins to buy the pie. Yeah! One coin was not enough, and neither were two. I bet we need to know about not enough to get the bucking monster to work. And since not enough is all about math... Let's, let's do, do monster, monster math! math! <laughs> Little monsters, show us exactly what you did when you tried to ride the bucking monster. We put in our coins. One, two, like this. And we hopped out for a ride. coins does it say you need to ride the bucking monster? Let's count. One, two, three coins. We put in one, two coins. You put in two coins, but the ride says you need three coins. So that means... Oh, oh, I know, I know. You have to put the coins in the bucking monster's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the problem, Goo. You need three coins to ride the bucking monster. Two coins are not enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh. Wait. I have another coin. <laughs> Let's try. One, two, three. The 
Cooking Monster looks like it's working now. Get it up, Monster! Oh. Hey, what happened? They put in enough coins. So what could be wrong now? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math words, too many and not enough, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three. Too, too many. many! Not, not enough. enough! Look, a monster math monitor. Five monsters getting on a boat. Uh-oh, the boat won't float. Too many monsters on the boat. One monster gets off, but it still won't float. One more monster gets off the boat, and what do you know? Now it floats. Three monsters on a boat that floats. Bon voyage, monsters. When you get where you're going, send us a note. <laughs> well, that was very helpful. There were too many monsters on that boat for it to float. Do you think that too many has something to do with why the bucking monster won't work? Maybe. Let's try it again. Okay, little monsters, put in your coins. Okay, Max. One, two, three coins. That's just enough coins. Giddy up, monster! <laughs> oh. It's still not working! Look! This shows how many little monsters need to ride the bucking monster. One, two. How many monsters are on the ride? Let's count them together. One, One two, two, three. three. But there are only supposed to be two little monsters, so that means... Oh, oh, I know, I know! There are too many monsters for the ride to work. Right! Too many! We know all about too many. Let's try again, little monsters. We'll get off! Here you go. Whoa! This is way too intense! Whoa! right with the ride. It shouldn't be bucking monsters off like that. It's dangerous. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense. There were too many monsters, so some of the monsters got off. Yeah. So what's wrong now? Let's have a monster math squad think. First, there were three monsters and the ride wouldn't go. That was too many. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then there was one monster, and the ride was too wild. Right. So that means... Oh, I know, I know. The bucking monster is out of control. Maybe he's hungry. <laughs> no, Goo. It means the ride is meant for two riders. So one rider is not enough. Oh, right. <laughs> That's another thing I knew. Not enough. The little monsters need to try the ride with two riders. Here we go. <laughs> It's working! <laughs> what an awesome ride! <laughs> Monster math horrific job, Monster Math Squad! We helped the little monsters get their bucking monster ride. And we did it by knowing all about too many and not enough. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the, the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> Scream, scream.
screen always surprises Goo. The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care... The, the Monster, monster Mask Squad will be there! It's Miss Hattie Monster. <laughs> Hi! Miss Hattie Monster makes the most amazing monster hats. I love monster hats. They're so much fun to wear. I love monster hats, too. But a customer ordered three monster hats. He's picking them up today, and, and I haven't finished them. Would you like us to help you? Oh, yes, please. I just need to get them decorated, but I can't seem to figure out how. Well, then, hang on to your hats, Miss Hattie Monster. The Monster Mat Squad is on the way. Oh, thank you. We need to help Miss Hattie Monster decorate her hats. <gasps> I bet we could use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can solve any problem. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome. First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word Monster! monster. Today's secret monster math word is match. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Match. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. Let's go decorate some monster hats. <laughs> Can we help? Well, these are the hats. Oh, oh wow. wow! They're beautiful. Thank you, but they're not quite finished. I need to put these little jingly monsters on, but every time I do, the jingly monsters jump right back off. I don't know what to do. Maybe we can put the jingly monsters on for you. Oh, oh, oh let me do it. There, one hat. Finished. Oh dear, do you see what I mean? How will I ever finish these hats? Hmm, we must be doing something wrong. Why won't the decoration stay on the hats? Ah, ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word. Match, are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Two little waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a chew toy to play with today. Two monsters, two chew toys. That's a match. Hooray! Four little waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a chew toy to play with today. Four monsters, four chew toys. That's a match. Hooray! Six little waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a chew toy to play with today. Six monsters, four chew toys? That can't be. There, six monsters, six chew toys. That's a match, you see? Thanks, Math Monitor. I think the Math Monitor was telling us that we have to match the number of jingly monsters with the number of puff monsters on each hat. So to finish each hat, we need to count the number of puff monsters on the hat and then put the same number of jingly monsters on so they match. Okay, Monster Math Squad, let's, let's do, do Monster Math! math. This one has one, two puff monsters. So let's get two jingly monsters and make a match. Oh, oh, I'll get them! <laughs> Two puff monsters, two jingly monsters. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a match. Awesome job, squad. Oh, thank you, Monster Math Squad. That's one hat finished, only two more to go. <laughs> right. Okay, squad, how many puff monsters are on this hat? Oh, I know. One, two, three, four. Four puff monsters. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, if there are four puff monsters, how many jingly monsters do we need to make a match? Four! 
four! Right. Four jingly monsters coming up! I've got two! And I've got two! That's four! Oh, that's beautiful! Oh, dear. I'll never get these hats finished, and my customer will be here soon. We matched the number of jingly monsters to the number of puff monsters, but the hat didn't like them. What could we be doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, match, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, match! Look, a monster math monitor. Two green waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a green chew toy to play with today. Two green monsters, two green chew toys. That's a match. Hooray! Four red waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a red chew toy to play with today. Four red monsters, four red chew toys. That's a match. Hooray! Six blue waggy tail monsters want to play. They each need a blue chew toy to play with today. Six blue monsters, four blue, and two green chew toys. That can't be. There! Six blue monsters, six blue chew toys. That's a match, you see? Thanks, Math Monitor. I think the Math Monitor is telling us that we can't just match the number of jingly monsters and puff monsters. We need to match their colors as well. But wait a minute. We didn't match the colors on the first hat, and the jingly monster stayed on. How come? Come on, let's check it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. It turns out the jingly monsters were the same color, even though we didn't match the colors on purpose. That's why it worked. <laughs> OK, squad. Now that we know we have to match the numbers and the colors, let's get these hats finished. This hat has four red puff monsters. That means we need four blue jingly monsters to make them match. What? Not blue. Oh, right. <laughs> the colors need to match. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> we need four red jingly monsters. <laughs> well, here are two red jingly monsters. And here are two more. All the monsters stayed on the hat, and they're happy! Now, if we can just finish the next one before my customer gets here. Don't worry, Miss Hattie Monster. We'll get it done. Let's all count how many puff monsters are on the next hat. One, two, three, four, five, six! There are six puff monsters! And they're all blue! So, to make the monsters match, how many jingly monsters do we need, and what color do they need to be? Yes! Six blue jingly monsters will make this a perfectly matched monster hat. Oh, no! That must be my customer coming for his hats. It's okay, Miss Hattie Monster. You go keep him busy while we finish this last hat. Okay, but please hurry. I don't want to keep him waiting. Why would anybody need three hats anyway? You can only wear one at a time. No, I don't know, Goo, but we need to hurry. What do we need to do again? We need to match the puff monsters with jingly monsters. We have six blue puff monsters, so we need... I know! Six blue jingly monsters! <laughs> That's a match! Here you go! Two blue jingly monsters! And two more! That's four! And two more! So we have... Six blue jingly monsters! <laughs> Yay! Oh, come right in, Mr. Three-Head Monster. Your hats are all finished. Uh, Monster Math Squad, this is Mr. Three-Head Monster. He's come to pick up the hats. Hello, hello, hello! Oh, now I know why he needs three hats. Here are the hats, Mr. Three-Head Monster. Do you like them? Oh, like them? No, I don't like them. I love them! I absolutely love them! Oh, I'm so glad! 
Yep, I love these hats. Love them. Thank you so much, Monster Mask Squad. You saved the day. Way to go, Monster Mask Squad. We helped Miss Hattie Monster finish her hats. And we did it by knowing all about matching. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Hey! We, we did, did the, the 